This is in 4K, cinematic 4K. There's right. my guts look. <laughs> you look like two old anything. fat idiots. <laughs> <For> your husband. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Like more on, more on the side there. You gotta get that, that big nose. She always says, you wouldn't mind my nose full of diamonds. I'm a big boy. Because you're regularly a big honker. He's a big boy. Right, here we go. Then I, you want the, the boat? The boat, yeah, but no, no, I've got the boat on this one. So we just oh, need, okay, yeah. okay, I see. You just want our magnificent profiles on this one. Righto. Eh? Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to another episode, uh, and this is a big one. Uh, how do I introduce this one? So, I think once in a fisherman's life, they probably achieve, hopefully, the pinnacle of fishing. And very recently, was it last week? Friday Arvo. Friday Arvo. Uh, Brad achieved at least one of the pinnacles in fishing. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't there to film it with the, with the GoPros and the good camera, but we have got a collation of uh, mobile phone footage from all the uh, crowd that was there watching it. I'm gonna, I've got the big fella here with me. Uh, he's gonna walk us through it, because it really is the catch of a lifetime. Uh, one of those things where everything goes right. If you went down and tried to repeat this, you'd never be able to do it again, would you? No. I'll let, I'll let him explain it all to us, because it really is a magnificent story, uh, and any fisherman's gonna love this one. All right, <laughs> so what were you doing? Killing time. I was just Killing laying time. on the misses. Yep. She had about another hour to go before I had to, I, was, I didn't even have to pick her up actually, I was just killing time seeing what she was doing and she should be about an hour and she we got the salon down at the marina as you know so yeah. we end up, um, yeah I just seen, just happened to have a rod in the back of the truck. You got the rod here? Yeah, this yep. one. Yeah. Me trusty little slug. So it looks like a brim rod, I'm thinking. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's a rod. little Gamoku spin series bloody, Yep. I don't know, what is it, a uh, 7 to 5 to 10 kilo line. Yep. So I had 20 pound right through. 20 pound leader? Yep. No wire? No wire. 20 pound braid? Yep. And you're just chucking the slug? Yep. You're killing time, you've gone down the north wall, down a local marina here, there's a bit I've been, of a north mate, wall. Mate, I've been flicking this slug all week. <laughs> yeah. Not a single tail, no. not a single bonito or anything. No, and all I'm doing is just trying to collect a little bit, bit of bait for the weekend. So you just get some bait, so chase some yeah. bonito. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you're down the wall, you're killing time, waiting for your missus, casting it out, <laughs> trying to catch some little bonito, and then what happens? I caught a bonito. You caught a bonito. <laughs> <laughs> right. But he got knocked off yeah. earlier in the piece. He just sort of, I thought, oh, geez, he's. I don't know if it was I pulled the hooks out of him yeah. or he's just end up bloody um, getting knocked off. But later on, I thought about that. I didn't even like, think about it at the time. He got eaten off. Like, yeah, like could have yeah, got yeah. nipped off. I don't know. Yep. Anyway, and I was spewing. I missed that one. So yeah. I had a couple more flicks and then um, a couple of blokes turned up behind me with uh, Andrew yep. Smith and um, Nathan Edwards turned yep. up. Yeah, a couple of local blokes. Yeah, yeah. a couple of yep. local blokes. Luckily, because they're experienced fishers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Um, yeah, they say the boys had a big rod there and big lure. And yeah, yeah. They were, gonna, they were gonna have a fish for a Spanish. I had a couple of casts over my shoulder. Because this spot is not unknown to have a big Pelagic swim path, like a long tail yeah, yeah. or a big Spanish mackerel. Yeah. I mean, Spanish mackerel is probably the rarest of all the Pelagic swim yeah. paths, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So um, I just had a couple more casts. I thought I'll get out of the boys' way, you know. And yep. So the <laughs> little lure was, was just sitting in the bubbles. I was dreaming. I was actually dreaming yeah. off a bit, thinking, I well, imagine if a big Jew or something hit yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as the surge is going out, the lure is getting closer to the kanji. So you oh, whining no. at the time? No, no, no. That was after I'd done a big cast and wound in. Yep. So then um, I'm just waiting basically to pop the lure up over the stones. Yeah. So there's about four metres of line left yeah, on yeah. the end of the rod. And I just didn't want to hit the kanji. So as the surge went out, I thought, well, the next surge comes in, I'll just yep. pop it up over the rocks. Yep. I was out of there. And um, as it's just sitting there, one of the most, the, the best visual you could ever imagine. I can only imagine. The thing comes just, it's come out from a lobster rock or something. Yeah. <laughs> it was in about that much water. Yep. And uh, yeah, he's just knocked that thing off. And I remember just seeing the tip of his nose hit it and yep. just go. Did and you know at that point what away, it was? Did you know what it was? Yep. Spanish mackerel. Yep. Well, you could see all the bars lit up. Yeah, oh, mate. He was just Stuff iridescent, green. iridescent. Yep. 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 And the noise, yeah. you know, the boof of the noise, it was like a shore dump. But there's no follow. Yeah, you didn't see it, nah, just a big blow nah, on your feet. No, nah, <sighs> not at all. That's good stuff. Just sitting there, just basically, oh, I'll wait for this to... Yep. Tide to run out, and then yep. I'll just go pop, a couple of wines, pop over the rocks, because yep. I was up a little bit higher yep. than the water level. Yep, and he just smashed you. 
just went, everything just turned. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. And then so, what happened? Well, <laughs> you must have thought I've got no hope here. <laughs> well, like, straight going, away, was, yeah, yeah. When it ate it, I mean, what was going through your head? You must have thought I've got no chance on this. No chance. No leader. I'll, yeah. 20, oh, sorry, no wire. I was expecting it to leader. just do a massive run. Yep. And then just pop off at the end and go, fuck, how good was that take? Yeah. I mean, because for those of you who don't know, like, Spanish mackerel are notorious for biting you off. They've got razor sharp teeth. And if you don't use wire, you've got Buckley chance, mm. haven't you? And particularly mm -hmm. when you got, and they got quite a long jawline on them. So, like a little slug like that. You really, and it's got to eat the whole thing. You got. Well, he's you just, must have thought I've got no hope here. Yeah, he's yeah. just got to hit that neek somewhere on him that's nowhere near the teeth. Did you? So luckily, luckily enough. Yeah, you pinned him right at the front. It was just uh, eventually when we found out when he came in, it was right on the tip of the nose. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that's just gold. That is gold. <laughs> Arsy. <laughs> right, so you hooked him. You worked yep. out what he is. I knew straight away I didn't have enough. Um, line on there for him to do a proper big mackerel run, so yep. I thought I'll just spool it a bit. Yeah. Not too much, just wanted to put a little bit of weight on his yeah. legs. Yep. And yeah, he just off he went, and I'm just watching that back and come up, and I thought, well, it's now or never. I thought I'll, I'll fish it through the back, and I don't care. I could yep. trust me not. Yep. And it just got to the backing about. I had probably half a dozen wines of braid yeah. on the spool. Left, left. On the... And he. And he's done the big arc. Oh. I thought, hang on, I'm in with a chance here. Yeah. I thought if I get two arcs out of him, then you're in with a shot. I'm eh? really in with a shot yeah. because yep. they turn their head. The you know that's bang. Well, because speaking from experience, you know when a Spanish mackerel gets to the end of its run, it does start to arc. That's probably the the, the furthest distance it's going to get. Yeah. There, yeah. yeah they yeah. might do another little one, but it's kind of yeah. later on in the fight, isn't it? Yep. So then um, I remember <laughs> Andrew behind me <laughs> filming, and he said. Oh no, I'm just watching <laughs> Boise get spooled here. Oh, no, yeah. I don't know how you didn't get spooled on that thing, I mean, it was crazy. Oh, it was, just, yeah. So I then the fight after that, lucky. standard Spanish mackerel fight, you've sort of yep. arcing back to the rocks. Well, he went, first Any he went down to Yeah, yeah when, he went down, it, when he went down to um, Latitude. <laughs> Which is a restaurant about, <laughs> well, 800 metres down the wall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so as soon as he started going that way, I knew that because the wall's changed out there now, they've got new... Um, boulders where we're fishing yeah, off, yeah. like it's man-made sort of concrete yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And all the natural stuff's been pushed down into the water. Yeah. So I had a bit of a reef in front of me, and as yeah. he's going further west, yeah. I thought, fuck, I needed to sort of turn him. So it was probably one of the hardest things was to put a bit of pressure on him and pull him Just away from the back. rock. Yeah, yeah. Once he turned back that way, I thought, all right, well, now I've got to contend with that in about five minutes, yeah. which was the inside of Muttonburg. You can see the footage of you just chasing him up the, yeah. up the rocks. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I flicked them off. I had to flick them off. It's <laughs> been a while since I had to flick the uh, thongs off. Use, in they them. should use, use you on uh, rock fishing safety videos, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so when he went east, then I had to sort of go south yep. myself. Oh, sorry, west myself to get, get that a better angle. angle in. Yeah. But after he'd done those two initial runs, it was pretty yep. obvious he was only just going to come in in big arcs yep. like that. But yep. I pretty much just wanted to just keep swimming him out there without putting too much pressure on him. Yeah. Um, till I tied him right down. So no one had a gaff. Yeah, no gaff. No gaff. So you coaxed no him gaff. back to the rocks. And there's footage which we'll put up now where he's right in front of you. Yeah, rock. yeah. But uh, I mean, you, and you watch that footage and you, you, gotta, you can understand the reluctance to jump in there with him because these things really are just a missile with mm. like razors in the end of them. But you've gone the big kill grab and... <laughs> well, I had to because his tail was further out than me and I thought, well, if he spits that lure or if what it just gives yeah. way, I was just diving in. I was yeah. just dive in and get You're him. You're not going to let that one go? No way. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, so you grabbed him, dragged him up the rocks. By this time, there's a bit of a crowd there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, we even had the mayor there. That's right, Paul the mayor of Coffs Harbour, yeah. yeah. The mayor of Coffs Harbour was there. I was up yeah. him, I said, how about a set of stairs here? <laughs> he did yeah, reply, yeah, yeah, yeah. there has been a reply. That's he said, good. mate, if you land that thing, Monday, I'll Monday, start. Monday, there'll be some fishing well, stairs there. I've been down there since, yeah. nothing's happened. There's a gas in there, like life rings or something. Could you believe it, though? Like, nah. when it was at your feet, when you actually, that moment when you know you had him, I guess that, you know, we all those fishermen, especially when you're fishing the rocks with no gap, there's a moment where you know I've got this fish, you know, yeah. where you got him by the tail, you got him in the gills. I mean, you... What was going oh, when head? I when I done the whole grab thing, I knew it was on. Then I just yep. I was happy. pretty happy. Yeah, yeah. You look pretty happy. Yeah. Uh, and weight, you reckon? Uh he's probably 16, 18 kilo, I guess. Good fish. Yeah, none Good of fish. us had any scales to yeah. do it with. Andrew sort of 
he's a pretty good judge of character with yep. his. She just said, "Yeah, oh, 16 to 18. He's a bit of a narrow gutted sort of long fella." Yep. But um, yeah, no, I was. Mate, it didn't matter, even if it was a 10 kilo one, yeah, to be yeah. honest, the, the weight doesn't really. It's a Spanish McElderon. It's just getting that thing on light gear. Yeah. And, but, um, mate, I was, in the, I was in the moment the whole time. You must have been. But, uh, because I, it, I didn't know, I don't know who was behind me, what was going yeah. on. I was just concentrated on that Like a whole, Buddhist monk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. In that moment, the, because you just know. Any number of things could have gone wrong oh, at any stage 100%. in that encounter. Yeah. 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 A remarkable catch. And I hate to oh, say good, it, mate. and I'm jealous, and I hate, uh, and you're dead to me, because like, there's one thing I want to do is catch a Spanish mackerel off the rocks, but to get one on spin gear. Well, you'll never get me out there again because I'm, I've hung the rod up now, mate. I don't <laughs> oh, yeah, do land-based you know, games. There's nothing else you can achieve after that in fishing. <laughs> no, mate, that is absolutely excellent. Go on, let's have one more look at this. Yeah, mate. So there it is. Hang on, it's still a bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> you should put that up on the wall now. <laughs> so there you have it guys, I know it's been the airways, especially where we live, have been buzzing with this capture, talk of this capture for the last week since it happened, uh, but it truly is a remarkable feat in fishing and I, I do hate to say it, but I have to give credit where credit's due, fucking well done mate, pretty good. So 20 pound rod, Just 20 pound lucky. line, little Just got lucky. bonito rod, <laughs> well there's a degree of skill involved I'd have to say, 20 pound leader, no wire, little bonito slug. 18 kilo Spanish mackerel. That wasn't, a, that wasn't actually a cheap um, slug either. That's about nine bucks, that blood. Was it? That blood jar. I, don't, I don't even know what brand it is, but they've good. got good trebles, whoever you oh, are. You're going to retire that? Or? Yeah, I might put oh, it in the mould of it. I'll put it in the mould on the wall, I think, with I, some of my other I think you were showing hatches. me earlier. I don't know whether that's going to come up or not, but one of those trebles is just about to give there, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. maybe it's probably the unluckiest fish in the world, that one, but... <laughs> Thanks for walking us through that. That's fantastic. There you go. There it is. Uh, oh, shit, I just fucking broke your good <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Uh, Brad's amazing mackerel catch <laughs> off the rocks on light spin gear. We know why. Truly remarkable. Righto, we'll see you next episode. What are we chasing next? We're going out soon. Have you out soon? It's mackerel season where we are, so we'll probably go and chase I'm some gonna more mackerel. going to sidestep the mackerel and go deep. Oh, God, he's got his mackerel now, so we're going to go deep. I'm over. No. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, thanks good for one. watching. We'll see you next episode. Bye for now. Thanks, Mama. That's good? Yeah. That's good. So I'll have all the footage while we're talking. It's gonna be sick. That's good. That's good. Be good. So now we've got to do the big the big one.